today in Making Space, we have a special guest in the studio, Baldwin. Baldwin, are you gonna be quiet while I'm recording? Okay, all right. Hello. <laughs> One of the things that I most love about drawing and making pictures is that it is the one place where I can create whatever kind of world I wanna see. Oftentimes in life, it can feel like there are so many things that are out of our control. For example, did any of you have any 2020 summer plans? <laughs> I know I did. I was looking forward to hanging out with friends and family and going to the beach and going to barbecues and maybe even taking a trip to some faraway place. But sometimes, our plans don't always work out the way we plan. But with creativity, we can create whatever kind of world we wanna see. For example, maybe you wanna get away to some tropical island with sand and the beach and palm trees with coconuts, of course, and sunny days and lots of tropical little fish. You can draw yourself there. Today on Making Space, I want us all to create our own very own little magical world where anything is possible. And how are we gonna get there? Through a magical portal, of course. And we're gonna, that's me looking through the portal. Very excited. All right. Are you ready to create this with me? Let's do this. So today, we are going to create our very own world where anything is possible. We're going to need a few materials for this. I'm using an old paper bag, some paint brushes, and paint. Um, basically, all I did was cut out a piece of paper and fold it in half, but you can fold any piece of paper in half that you have. I'm using paint, but you can use whatever materials you have available. Crayon, colored pencil, marker, they all work. Um, and so first I'm gonna begin by painting a portal and I'm gonna paint myself looking into the portal. Um, and I'm using very few colors. I like to give myself limits and just kind of keep it simple. So once that dried, I opened it up and now I'm gonna to begin to create the world inside my portal. So I painted a portal at the top, and since I already had blue paint on my brush, I kind of just started painting a bunch of different blue things, like some water and some fish. And then I started to get the brown paint and paint trees and a little island, all things that I know I'm gonna to want to have in my special world. Um, and in my world, there are all these colorful fish and the water is clean, and there is no plastic in the ocean, and there are all these plants that grow, and it's usually sunny and bright and warm, and of course we have trees with lots of colorful leaves, um, giving us nice clean air, and also giving us shade on warm days. Um, yeah. Oh, also, um, the plants in this world grow our favorite snacks and foods. So in my world, the plants grow ice cream. <laughs> this is an ice cream plant. Um, and of course, we got to have friends and people to hang out with. So I'm going to paint myself hanging out with a bunch of friends, friends of different colors and shapes and sizes. And we're all just getting along. Oh, of course, I have to paint Baldwin. He is also welcome to this magical world. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I look forward to seeing all the worlds that you create. So here we are, entering our world where anything is possible. Today's art project was inspired by a book. Another created by me. <laughs> Notice I didn't say written and illustrated by because another is actually a wordless book. I made this book wordless because 
Just like words can tell a story, I also believe that pictures can tell a story. Another is the story of a girl and her cat. Uh, they go on a magical adventure into a portal, into another world, where they meet another version of themselves. What do you think would happen if you met your another? Do you think you would get along? Do you think you would get into fights? Maybe you would be your own best friend. That could be pretty cool. I wanna make sure that someone out there gets a chance to win a free, free copy of another. In order to enter to win, all you have to do is like this video, comment below, and I'll select someone from the comments. I'll do this by supporting our local and independent bookstores. So either a bookshop in your town or mine, and I'll make sure that they send you a free copy. Before we head out, I'm actually expecting a call from Amanda Gorman, who is someone who uses words to tell stories. Um, she's a poet. She's actually the Youth Poet Laureate of the United States of America. Uh, and so I'm really excited to, oh, here she is. Hello? Hey, Christian, it's Amanda. Okay, so first question, what is a Youth Poet Laureate? Great question. So a Youth Poet Laureate is basically just an ambassador for poetry and literature and young people around the country. Wow, that sounds like a pretty cool job. Uh, okay, last question. As someone who uses words to tell stories, could you imagine a world with your words for us? Sure. From a wave of woes, our world will emerge stronger. We'll observe how the burdens braved by humankind are also the moments that make us humans kind. So let each morning find us courageous, brought closer, heeding the lights before the fight is over. When this ends, the world will smile sweetly. Finally seeing, in testing times, we became the best of beings. Wow, that was so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that, Amanda. All right, good talking to you. Bye. You too. Thanks. Bye, Christian. Wow. All right, well, it's so amazing to think that with words or with pictures, we can describe and we can visualize whatever kind of world we want to see. Thank you all for joining me for another day of Making Space. Thank you for making space for creativity, for fun, and just being together. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.